Mars.com. Well, Destination Mars, uh, NASA is about to add one new member of its fleet uh, of spacecraft uh, to study the red planet. And, uh, and this one's going to be a doozy, MAVEN, uh, an atmospheric probe to study the atmosphere of Mars like never before. With us today, Dr. Jim uh, Garvin uh, at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. Um, uh, Dr. Garvin, you know, uh, let us know, what, what is it about this mission that makes it stand out from, from, say, the rest that have been to Mars? Well, MAVEN is a special mission not only because it was competitively selected as part of our Mars Scout program to give the maximum opportunities for creative ways of exploring Mars, but because it's going to look at Mars through the lens of the history of the atmosphere and how that atmosphere today has transformed itself from the atmosphere of the past when we think Mars was a much more hospitable world, warm and wet, perhaps in cycles, and making the connection between those those environments of Mars is really important as we look for signs of past life potentially on the red planet. Now, and, and MAVEN is looking specifically at the atmosphere. I mean, what can MAVEN do that, say, the, uh, the past orbiters haven't been looking for? Is it just casting its gaze only on the atmosphere? Well, MAVEN is carrying with it a rich array of instruments to get the context for looking at the atmosphere particles and fields in the magnetic field, but also carries with it an in-situ mass spectrometer that can measure the molecules and their history through various isotopes and other measurements that we've never measured before done through the lens of the entire atmosphere. It's almost like a mission to, to do sample return of the atmosphere, but bringing the instrument with us to that atmosphere itself, this instrument built here at NASA Goddard, will enable us to make measurements never before made at Mars, connect them from the atmosphere down to the surface to instruments on the Curiosity rover. Now, studying an, an atmosphere of a planet like, like Mars in such detail, I'm just wondering, is, can, is there anything that we can glean about the other planets from the solar system by studying Mars's atmosphere or even our own planet Earth? Well, absolutely. We think by really understanding the way atmospheres evolve and are lost to space, Mars's, our own, which we measure today from satellites, Venus someday, um, we can connect the dots for these planets and see how their atmospheric histories connect to climate evolution, environmental evolution, and ask the questions, how do things change? Are they the result of gigantic uh, colossal blow-offs of atmospheres from cosmic collisions? Are they natural evolution? This will put our solar system in the context of how we look potentially at solar systems around nearby stars. You know, I, I have to ask, um, Dr. Garvin, why Mars? You know, we've, we've been sending probes there, it seems, um, more than, than any other planet. We've got two rovers there now. What is it about that, the red planet that really just either captivates you as a scientist and maybe the public as a whole? Well, Mars has an allure because it really is the best place we've yet found to ask the big question, are we alone? Can we see the signs in the record books of Mars from the atmosphere to the rocks of signs of past life? Can we see in this record of a water world Mars the possibilities that, that we now know have worked and resulted in the magic of life on Earth? Can we use another world as sort of a mother nature's control experiment to do that? And we've learned so much in the last 15 years of our Mars exploration program, of which MAVEN is a part, Curiosity, Opportunity, all these other missions, that we've painted a new world, a new picture of Mars, grown a whole community. And this will help us also eventually have the tools to send human beings to the red planet. Oh, that's great. I, I can only ask uh, for my last question. I'm wondering how you and your team are going to celebrate there at Goddard uh, Sunday night when, uh, when, you, when you do get to orbital insertion? Well, the team is really across the country in Colorado with uh, Lockheed Martin at the University of Colorado at Berkeley in California, here in Maryland, across the world, really. We'll all be just joyously excited once we're safely in orbit with MAVEN, ready to conduct this magical mission, which is led by a principal investigator at the University of Colorado, Dr. Bruce Joukowsky. So I think Bruce is the one to ask that question, too. <laughs> He's been waiting a long time. Great. Well, well, thank thank you so much, Doctor. We, we, you know, all the best for uh, for the arrival and also for the for the orbital mission itself. Uh, we're really looking forward to seeing what Maven can do. Thank you. We're all excited too. Space.com.